And welcome back, intrepid travelers, to civilization and our Captain de Medici. Medici! <laughs> yes. I'm about to say hola, but that's Spanish, not French. Damn it, I need more French names. Anyway, we've got our four cities running at the moment, but things are still looking rather tight. Cleopatra is amassing her armies at our border. England looks like they're doing the same, even though they are friendly with us. Uh, and they've got a settler going this way as well, and I want over there. It's iron. But there's an iron resource over here too, so... Who knows? Ah, uh, we've got our walls that built in Paris and Marseille now, which is great. That's going to let us bombard units close to us. Which will keep people at bay. I should probably put one of these warriors in, but I might move them back when one of them's damaged, fortified, that kind of stuff. And that'll put its um, garrison strength rating up. So you can stay in there right now. <laughs> so well, at the moment we're kind of behind in just about everything, unfortunately. Greece is leading us in the science, but we have come up a long way very quickly, I must say. We were basically last in place after Paris got taken, and now we're in fourth. We've got 27.5 a turn. Wow, you are smashing us, Gorgo. We have got more culture, though, so I don't know, maybe we're okay. <laughs> We are aiming for the cultural victory. <laughs> um, our domination victory is low, obviously. Our military strength is low. The US isn't too big, though. So, yeah. But we have made some new friends. I've befriended Gilgamesh a bit, so we got a nice little declared friend, Happy Face. And Victoria, declared face. And Gorgo is actually happy at us now, too. So, really, it's only Cleopatra we have to worry about diplomatically, I think. She don't like us at all. Look at that. It's all warriors though, so we think we should go okay. This place is get, getting an encampment soon, hopefully. Actually, can we? Ah, uh, builder not yet. 260. Alright, we need another builder because I really want it's sheep, the horses, and let's let's start building the city up because we need some more production in it and it needs to grow quicker. Because that's gonna be a pretty big city. It's a nice spot. I think La Rochelle, it's growing so quickly, so I don't want to make it a settler town. It's just, it grows so incredibly quickly. But yeah, we'll give you the ancient walls as well. Or a builder, actually a builder. And we'll come down and try and build over here as well. We need some, um, a lot more farms coming up. The next technology we are going for, well I should say the next civic, Build six farms, so that is going to be my next goal. So we're going to get a few workers going, building a few extra places, actually. Bam. That's our next farm. <laughs> Send an envoy, yay! So we got two envoys from doing our trade quest to them. And I'm not sure who we really want. Jakarta has some decent gold. But Geneva... It's the bonus there, 15% science, we're not at war. Hopefully we're not at war too much, but, you know, this one's the cultural one though. Culture in every theatre district, but we don't have any theatre districts yet, so it's not much of a point. Full city's housing water thing is great, but we don't need that yet either. I think when we keep building, we'll need it, but we're, we're settling pretty well next to rivers, so. Zanzibar, that would actually be great when we get a bit bigger. So I'm definitely going to do them when I get bigger, but right now, this one, Carthage. Extra production in my capital when producing units, and it is going to be pumping out some military units right now. It's our government at the moment. Production towards settlers. Oh, I don't really like that yet, but oh well. I'm going to build a couple more settlers, I am. We're going to get one to the right. One up the top, maybe even two up the top, who knows. This is a busy little continent, I must say. Bordeaux, 
I think is going to be our next science district, right in the middle. We've got a theatre district here, but it still needs an amphitheatre. And Marseille. Probably a theatre district as well. Right, let's go for... Um, not sure exactly. We were still... I oh know, I wanted engineering. That's what I actually wanted. And we finished it. So what are we going to build towards next? Probably the university and education. So Bordeaux has finished what it was building. I'd say a watermill. Ah, uh, yeah. Because we're going to get that rice soon, hopefully. Yeah, let's do it. Extra production will help. Got you are still exploring, which is nice. Although you're trapped in there by all those freaking mountains. That'd be a great spot for a, a campus district, right? Nestled in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to start settling up here near Gilgamesh because he's happy with us. So, and it's in between all these city-states and no one really owns them just yet. And they're not really military, like, they don't really go into war with you, you know? Unless you go to war with them. We're going to get that encampment before um, Cleopatra attacks. The longer she waits, the worse it gets for her because I'm going to be able to upgrade my units when I get new technologies because they're in my territory, but she is just stuck out in the open. Not to mention, that must be a serious drain on your, like, treasury. Thank you. Is he happy with us now? Fair enough. You didn't like us before. Ooh, war cut. <laughs> yeah, he's not really gonna be in a good spot to attack us and attack um. Cleopatra, unfortunately. But the less people we're at war with during this, the better. So it's good to make friends. It'd be funny if I could sneak around with a lot of units and then take her city while she's still sitting there trying to siege mine. I cannot get out of this little area here. Completely and utterly stuck. I might just disband my scout. Since I can't actually get out of there. Although I could get open borders. We've got another envoy, commercial trade route, all right, horsemen. Who are we going to send it to? I like that because we're still at war, but Geneva's probably the best. Ah, that's a nice deal. I agree. Although she wants open borders and she's not giving me open borders. I don't like that. 
Beard of the Evangelist. <laughs> that is a funny great work. All right, let's take that off and take those off. All right, accept deal. I didn't want to give you open borders, but that looks good. She gave us truffles. Yay, the French had our truffles. The French needed truffles. Right, I think Paris can start pumping out some um, workers after that watermill. And let's start completely redesigning this entire area. We've been really lax for so long in that. Fuck it, I can't even get out of there now. So we've got a worker there, we got a campus, we need a... Uh... I would like to get a theatre square, I really would. Although an aqueduct is definitely more important, actually. No, your housing capacity is still decent, though. And you're growing so quick, like, slowly. Alright, theatre square it is. I'm putting it there because it's next to the wonder. Paris actually, is, after this watermill, is going to go for a settler or two. We need more cities, we really do. That could be a good spot in between the two city-states up there. But I'm going to make one right near home, and then we're going to go up. So let's come over here, build another one. Alright, yeah, let's settler. Our trade is nearly back. Nice. I should send my trader to the other place, Carthage. That's just way too far away. Actually, no, we'll start building it, the roads in between our city with its, um, a trader. We really, that will help us. Then we'll be able to get units to and from our cities easier and quicker. Oh, she shifted, she's got spearmen now. Yeah, that's what we should do next. So we can make the legionnaires and everything. <laughs> And we can save that gold for upgrading our units instead of building um, workers. I wonder how many cities England has. Because it only looks like they've got one to me. I wonder where their other cities are. They've got two wonders as well. It'd be a nice city to take. Alright, so... No, next turn. Really not doing it much at the moment. I'm just waiting for stuff to finish. So the watermill is going to really help us start like building up Bordeaux. The encampment is absolutely required for the city, being in the middle of the warpath. Cultural center is going to be great for La Rochelle. I'm going to build an amphitheater in both of them, and then we can use our Homer, Homer, to build those great works. And our warrior is going to go north with our settler. 
Though Paris is going to start making some more units too. Marcel. Uh, 280. It was 265 not long ago. <laughs> I thought I could make it this time. Right, keep going. Oh, nice. Awesome. We're friendly with everybody. Hopefully that doesn't piss off Gilgamesh because he doesn't like Gorgo. I'm just hoping I get these technologies that I wanted finished before they start attacking me again. That would be a good one too. Feudal contract. Build units quicker. When we do go to war that is. So that's four farms. We still need two more. And then it would have finished that. So we can make our builder now. Nice. Didn't want to build one outright, but it'll speed up this feudalism that we've got going. And two farms, one, two, and that'll finish it off. I wonder if our rice farm is counted as a farm. Probably is, so we probably only need one more. She put a trade route in our town. There is no easy way to train an apprentice. Builder. Farm. Yes, feudalism complete. Nice. So the rice farm did count as an actual farm farm. Sweet. Sweet. It's your vote that counts. Nice. That helped us immensely. Choose a civic. Oh, that looks good because we're going to be upgrading our units soon. There we go. She's got a lot of missionaries in our area. They actually make really good scouts. That's the problem with them. <laughs> because you can't really attack them with any normal units. So you can just keep wandering and you can go through open borders. So you can just keep wandering about someone's lands. see actually I want an iron working took our area suzerain. I want Geneva to be our suzerain too. So you are going to link with the settler. 
And they're going to go on a vacation. And Paris is going to start making more military units. Just one more at the moment, Archer. You can go... Cow? No, that's in the line of fire. Let's go over here. For rice! And that cow. Two more turns for the encampment. Sweet. Denounces us. Dun dun dun. Goodbye. Uh, so she doesn't like weak. Yeah, we definitely need to get our um, military up, unfortunately. Uh, science is still crap. Greece is knocking it out of the ballpark with Gorgo, wow. Let's have you build a settler here, and then we're going to send that one over here. Oh, there's a barbarian encampment there. We'll send up the archer as well and make another archer. <sighs> I want that trade route to do something else now. <laughs> but I think it's stuck in that loop. Nice, everything finished. Again, beginning my... So our archer's going to come over here. You guys are going to come up here. Oh, someone killed the barbarian encampment. Marcel, you've got the encampment now. Nice. Paris has finished what it was doing. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should go to the industrial zone or just knocking out. Let's get some more army, actually, yeah. I think that's the most important thing at the moment. Bumping up our military so people don't think we're weak and want to attack. You would benefit greatly from a water mill, but we've got all these things now too. We can build horsemen now. Of course, this place has the encampment. All right, well, this... Oh, should I build the stable first and then the horsemen? Or the water mill? Because that'll give us an extra production. No, we'll go to the stable. Oh, yeah, we'll get one horseman. And then we'll get the stable. <laughs> oh, they're moving away from us now. The encampment must have annoyed them. That's good for us. Oh, I really need the iron really quickly. Ah, oh, you've got it. You did build that city there. Oh no, that's him. That's Gilgamesh. Huh. I know what we can do. So. Was it Hatsu? 
One of each strategic resource you have revealed but do not own. So if we get to three on him, that's what he gets us. So we need to complete a thing of this and then we have some iron on us. So trainer, pikeman or civil service horseman. Yes, we're getting a horseman soon. Nice. So once we get the horseman, we can bump up Hatsu to three, and then we get its special bonus. I don't think we need to put the archer up there anymore because they killed the barbarian encampment. Yeah. And it looks like they're coming for Paris now. Alright, I think we'll leave it there for today, and I will see you next time in Civilization with Catherine and dear Medici. Medici! Medici! <laughs> Thanks everybody!